Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back for round four of Group B. Group B really heating up here as we go into round four. So up first, it's a clash at the top between Pilk the Milk and Heady the Eddy. <laughs> uh, I, li I, li I like rhyming, okay? He's fun. And then we have Dino Hunter taking on Toka Nightmare. Could be a good opportunity for Toka to close the gap on the top here. And then it's Louse going up against Jack McSevenar. Could be a big game for these two here. And yeah, let's go on with the first matchup, which is again a clash at the top between Pilk and Eddie. Well, two combatants that I didn't expect at this point to actually be first and second. But there we are. Up first in the blue court, red corner for Pilk. It is Alexovasaurus. After a shaky start, Pilk has really hit the accelerator again. Impressive wins in this tournament, particularly against Lex. But anyway, in the blue corner for Heady, it's a T-Rex. And well, again, Heady's been another surprise combatant in this tournament. Getting a narrow win over Toga Nightmare. And getting a good win against Dino Hunter, coming from behind it to snatch it. Although I would say, in Heady's case... The points kind of flatter to deceive to a degree because again, the, those little key moments have gone Heady's way so far and eventually that's going to catch up with me. So yes, Heady's won three out of three, but well, except for the first matchup, the other two could have gone the other way very easily. Which way will this match go? Well, so far, it's a good start from Pill. A very good start, I might add. And for Heady, well, a, a slow start. Although they had a slow start against Dino Under as well, so let's not forget that. Oh. Well, that's the end of T-Rex. It will not be sweeping anyone aside. Instead, it's the Lexovasaurus doing the sweeping. Right, yo, then. As for Heady's second dino, it's a Spinosaurus. Heady, yet again, having to play catch-up. And will he get his suffer his first defeat of this tournament? Well, if he doesn't this match up, I think he'll probably lose the next one, because it's against Laos. And Laos needs the points. Ooh, Heady getting his first hit of the match. He did it, he did it, didn't he? Crystal Crush again triggered there. Pilk still has a sizable lead. I should point out a win for a bonus point win for Heady will almost guarantee that they'll top group B should Laos get defeated or not get a bonus point win in the next two games. But at the minute it looks like Heady is not going to be winning this match. Another tie. Ties favour the Lexo though. Yet again, the Quake Saber being triggered. Ooh, but he's not getting it off. Oop, hit one like that. Not getting it off this time. Oh, no, hit the five quick. <laughs> oh, almost messed that up. Almost messed that up. Another time. Look at this from Lexovasaurus. Cleaning house. But the Spino finally gets the hit. Heady evening things up. Yeah, quite exciting. Okay then, as for Pilk's second dino, it's a strip the Sponder lesson. Yes, Pilk has already avoided that bad scenario where this thing could have gone up against the T-Rex. Courtesy of Lexovasaurus doing a lot of work. And Pilk still has a decent lead, but Heady... Could Heady close him down? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Ooh. Wow. This water sword could be big. Oh, look at that. Evening things up from Heady. Oh, oh, back to the ties again. I think the Spino is tie tight, so ties will favour Heady. However, that will favour Pilk. And the Spinosaurus bites the big one, and Pilk still has the lead. 
Okay, as for Hedy's third dino is an Ankylosaurus. Ankylosaurus is really coming clutch for Hedy so far in this tournament. We didn't see it at all in the first matchup. Actually, no, I think we did. No, no, we didn't. But it definitely pulled its weight in the last two matchups for Hedy. Getting crucial hits off to secure those two wins. Uh, yeah, I should point out a win for Pilk will take them through to the last 32. Well, any sort of result here will take Ed Hedy through to the last 32. For certain, but let's be honest, Hedy's already through at this point. Ooh, the Streptospondylus going down. No bonus point win in this matchup. Okay then, as for Pelt's third dino is an Ampelosaurus. Well, Orkham always been... The last few matches involving Hedy have been really tight so far. Just when you think the opposition pulls away, Hedy pulls it back. And can Hedy snatch this one? He's been under the cosh for most of this matchup, but... It is a what straight one on one now between Apollosaurus and Ankylosaurus. Oh, Eddie getting there! Wow, Ankylosaurus is huge. Ooh, Eddie getting another head. <laughs> this is where the random number generator is like, okay, we're level packing. Go give Eddie some heads. Oh, that's a tie. Ooh, that's interesting, because the Ankylosaurus has Sand Trap, but the Ampelosaurus has Tire Attack, so... You know... I, I, would, I would say, unless Sand Trap gets triggered, then ties favour the Ampelosaurus! Oh my god, I think Eddie's done it again. <laughs> Eddie just has this knack to snatch matches and I think yeah he's done it again I can't believe it <laughs> Hedy has snatched it how, how has Hedy won this match like Pilk like was leading for the whole match even at that point Pilk was in the lead but Hedy somehow got the hit he needed to snatch the match and, well, is a guarant... Sorry, I just saw a crow fly towards my window. It is a guarantee that Hedy will be going through to the last 32. And I'd probably say, should, well, should Louts get defeated in this next matchup, Hedy will also win Group B. But let's be honest, I think he'll probably win Group B anyway. Wow, three matches in a row where Hedy has got off the crucial hit. The exact hit he is needed to win matches. Absolutely insane. Right, on to our next matchup now, which is quite a big one between Dino Hunter and Token Nightmare. Okay then, in the red corner for Dino Hunter is an Alpha Rajasaurus. Poor Dino Hunter, it just really, it really hasn't happened for him in this tournament at all. And yes. Well, again, he has a very, 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 very slim chance of getting out of this group, but realistically, anything other than a 3 0 win will not be enough. And I don't see him getting a 3 0 win against Tokenoka, who also has an Alpha Rajasaurus, I might point out. Token Nightmare, though, a good opportunity here to close the gap on the top. Toka can still actually win this group. Should they get two bonus point wins? Because Hedy failed to get a bonus point win. Of course, uh, that's all providing Hedy gets defeated by Louse. And Louse gets defeated in this next match. Ooh, is it Ty? Well, Ty's favour Toka's Raj because Toka's Raj has heat eruption. Ooh, but that's a good start from Dino Hunter. Ultimately playing for Pride here. Can Dino Hunter get a win in this tournament? I hope so, because I don't want to see someone get zero wins in my tournaments, because it sucks. Oop, it's a tie. Oh, look at this from Dino Hunter. Where was this in the earlier matches? Another firebomb, and Dino Hunter has a 1 0 lead. 
and we'll have the type advantage over Toka's second dino. Is the free nil on? It could be on, you know. Well, as for Toka's second dino, it's a Super Lillian Sternus. Awaker mode on three, of course, like everybody else. And as I said, it'll have to type disadvantage against that Raj. So, golden opportunity here for Dino Hunter to get a 2 0 lead. Why I think Toka won't win, why I think Dino Hunter won't win this match 3 0? Because of Bronto Kills. Plain and simple. Well. Again, you got a question. Where was this from Dino Hunter when it mattered most? Uh, as, as, as I was saying, the shackles are off now, so you start playing. Twice. Oh, that's a tie. Finally, Toka landing some damage. Hasn't even got a hit in this match. Well, till now. But let's be honest. Not much of a hit. But we will get to see the Awaker mode, thankfully. Of course, it's Lillian Sternus and it's a pain in the ass to do because, well, look, the number overlaps the head and you can hardly see the head because of the aura effect. Oh, oh, Rajasaurus gets the hit. <laughs> wow. Poor Toka is not happening for you so far, is it? But Dino Hunter looking strong. Oh, oh, there's the Dino Stuffer. Toka finally getting a crit, but Dino Stuffer said no. Let's be honest, this thing needs about five or six hits to kill the Raj, so yeah. I fully expect Dino and will have a 2-0 lead any minute now. Like right now. There's the 2-0 lead. However, do not count Toka out yet, because their third Dino is Bromtikins and... Well, it almost completed an epic comeback against Laos, and I wouldn't be surprised if Toka came back to win 3 2 uh, this time around. And it does have the type advantage over the Raj, so I suspect one hit from this thing will kill it. And the Dino Stuffer is gone, so don't count Toka Nightmare out yet. Oh, it's a tie. Well, come on, give Toker a freaking hit. Like, I know I said I wanted Dino Hunter to win, but I didn't want it to be this easy. It's a tie. Oh, yeah, that's, that's Dino Hunter out. Needed a 3 0 win, and it's not gonna happen. That's Dino Hunter out of the tournament. I mean, he's probably gonna win this match, you know, and I'm happy that he finally gets his first win in the tournament, but it's not gonna matter. Not at this point. Because put it this way, he has a bonus point win here. He's six points behind Toka with one match to play. And the most points you can get in a match is five. So yeah, that unfortunately confirms that Dino Hunter is eliminated. But they probably will win this match anyway. Or will they? Toka Nightmare coming back into it. Oh, look at that! The spectral armor is looming. Hopefully, we'll get to see it, so I don't have to do a, so I don't have to waste my time with a screenshot. I think we are going to see it. Look at this from Brontekins. Wait, is this Aqua Javelin? Oh, it's Aqua Javelin! Wow! So the nightmare coming back, and all of a sudden, Dino Hunter's lead has been decimated, and the spectral armor could be coming into play. And if that activates. Well, it's going to be a free to win for Toka Nightmare. This will probably sum up Dino Hunter's tournament if Toka wins this match. Oh, it's a tie. It's Spectral Armor. Wow, for the second match in a row. Toka Nightmare is going to get off some Spectral Armor. Will he get off Spectral Destroyer or can Dino Hunter put a stop to it? Well, no. Toka's in the driving seat for Spectral Destroyer. Will kill Isosaurus. Oh, this is going to do it. 
Oh, what's happened? What's happened to Dino Hunter? On the brink of winning a 2 0 lead. Decimated. Although the Isosaurus may survive, but I doubt it. Yeah, not a chance on planet Earth. Um, oh, I'm, I'm gonna have to double check Brontokins' health because Dino Hunter might have got a losing bonus point, but I don't think so. But wow, what a comeback from Toka! We've seen some comebacks in this tournament, haven't we? Awesome! Not if you're Dino Hunter. And yes, that will confirm Dino Hunter's exit from this tournament. As for Toka Nightmare, that could be a big, big win for Toka. Crucial. Closes the gap on the top and puts himself in a strong position to get out of the group. Okay then, on to our final match of this session. And it's another big game between Laos and Jack McSevenar. Okay then, in the red corner for Jack McSevenar is a Super Ceratosaurus. He'll wait the mode on too. The little rye thing here. Um, you know, have you seen what it can do? It was quite effective against Dino Hunter. You know, like everything else. But, well, will it be effective against this Angiceratops of Lousps? It could be tough though, because Angiceratops has proven how strong it can be. Although, Laos was getting a little bit nervous against Toka in the last round. Letting a big lead slip. Almost losing it in the end, but just pulling away. But there is pressure on Laos here, given the er first two results. Um, Laos really needs a win to keep to close the gap on the top three. Well, that's a that's a good start, isn't it? There's the tie bomb. There's the electric charge. Go once. Oh, it's a tie. But ties favour Laos. And that crit will favour Laos. Ceratosaurus biting the big one. Ugh. We're gonna. S oh, hang on. Yay, it's gonna survive! We're gonna see the awaken mode! Thank goodness for that! <laughs> now I don't have to bust the gut to get a screenshot. <laughs> Ooh, that's a crap. Okay, this. I'm, wa I'm, I'm waiting so I can get a good screenshot of it. Okay, that'll do. Oh, Louse gets the head! Anki Ceratops giving Louse the 1 0 lead. Chance missed by Jack McSevenar. And now, now he could be in some big, big trouble because this Amplosaurus is going to have to take this advantage against Angiceratops. Of course, if you saw group round 4 for group A, you saw the Giga one-shot the Gamma, even though I had a tight disadvantage, you know? <laughs> uh, I still I still can't believe that happened. Like, obviously the Flare Sword as well. But I, I still can't believe that happened, and I still think that was a load of rubbish. Oh, that's a tie. Again. Ties favour Laos. Ooh, but the Ampelosaurus does get a hit. Jack McSevenar finally getting his first hit of the match. But look at that. Defence boost could help, though. Defence boost could help. But again, <laughs> you see the damage it did. A pitiful amount. Look at the damage this Ankyceratops is going to do. Stacked up with electric charge as well, mind you. There's the tie bomb. Oh, and another electric charge, which will probably, yep, heal up this tiny sliver of damage it took from the Ampelosaurus. Wow, type advantage can be an absolute killer. Louse on top, pretty much on top, and pretty much set for a 2-0 lead. But Aqua Vortex has been triggered. That will actually really be helpful because that will stop Louse leaving damage via ties. Oh, but the Amplosaurus doesn't even need it. It's going to get off a Futaba cannon. I tell you what, that was an impressive amount of damage done. 
you know, even though I had the type disadvantage, I was a decent amount of damage. Oh, but the Ampelosaurus is done. There's the tie bombs. Down she goes, and Louse has a 2 0 lead. Well, this could be interesting because Jack's third dino is a super fairy, and the awake mode will be triggered right away. So that, well, that will guarantee Louse at least a losing bonus point should he lose this match. Because the fairy's HP will be halved after said awaken mode, and we're probably going to see it, let's be honest. Well, we are going to see it. Which is awesome. Oh, the Ankyceratops! Get off another hit! Wow, could Louse win? Oh my goodness. Is Louse going to win? 3-0. Oh, he just might! Louse on the brink! Oh, oh wow, even the Awaken mode, that was still loads of damage. Oh my god, I think Louse, I think Louse is gonna win 3-0. Come on, Jack, get ahead! Oh my god! Oh, he's done it! Um... Well, I, I, I have nothing to say, really. Like, I, obviously I feel bad for Jack McSevenR there, because you don't want to get sweet, but wow! Just when he needed it most, Louse puts in a performance to remember. And that is a massive win for Louse, and the first 3-0 of this tournament, and probably the last. Well, hopefully. <laughs> right, I'll update the table and we'll end the session. Well, Group B definitely shaking up, isn't it? You have Lousp and Heady booking their places in the last 32. Lousp after that impressive 3-0 win. Seven points clear of Jack McSevenR. Although, Lousp could still finish fourth, I think. But, all of a sudden now, Lous will be eyeing himself up as the group winner after that. And yes, these two will be meeting in round five. And after that display from Lousp, Heady might be bricking himself. And then poor old Dino Hunter, it just, it just really, really hasn't happened for him at all. And yeah, he, he, is, he is out. And well, Jack McSeven are clinging on by a thread. He still has an outside chance to get through though. If he gets a 3-0 win against Toga Nightmare. But again, I don't see that happening. Although a bonus point win against Toga might be enough. Actually, will it be enough? No, it won't be enough because Pilk defeated Jack in the second match. So yeah, anything other than a 3-0 win will eliminate Jack McSevenR. But yeah, that's pretty much the end. So I hope you enjoyed. And yes, we will stay tuned for next time where we will do round four for Group C. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out.